Hi everyone and welcome back to the vlog. This is Susie from Sea Salt and Stitches. This is the third video in my hemlock hack series. Um, we take the Grainline Hemlock Tea, which is here. It's a free downloadable um, pattern. The link will be in the description box down below. And I am talking you through four different hacks that you can do to the grain line hemlock tea. I've already done a short sleeve hack, I've done a cowl neck hack like this jumper here, and in this video I am doing a colour block hack to um, copy this picture that I found on Pinterest. So um, in the video I talk you through how to draft the pattern pieces for the colour blocking and then how you sew that up as well. I won't do a full um, detailed tutorial on every step of the hemlock tee because I did that already in my first video for the short sleeved hack. So if you do want a step by step tutorial then click on the link down below for this short sleeved hemlock hack. But otherwise if you want to know how to do the colour blocking then keep watching. Okay to make the um, colour blocked hemlock hack we need the front and the back pieces. We don't need the neck binding or the sleeve because they um, will stay the same. You'll need them for making the top but not for um, any alterations. A ruler, a pen or pencil and some tracing paper of some description. There'll be a link to mine in the description box down below if you're interested. So, um, starting with the front piece there is a notch on the side here, uh, that's the centre front there. There is a notch here, mine's been well used so it was back a bit there. So we're just going to draw a horizontal line straight across there and we're going to do that on the back piece as well. If you have one of these rulers they are really handy. I nicked this one from my mum who used to quilt. Um, it's see-through with the grid lines on it and you can line it up, line these lines up with your centre front, line this up with your notch and then draw a line and you know that that's going to be at right angles to the centre front which is brilliant. And we're going to do the same for the back piece. Now I'm going to actually um, draw this line on again in black pen just so that it's easier for the video for you to see in the video but you would need to do this yourself. All right, we're going to start with the centre front here and we are going to retrace or trace two pieces for the front. Not sure whether this is going to show up on camera. And um, make sure if you have grid lines, make sure they are parallel to the centre front because that is your grid line. So we're going to trace around the top part of the pattern piece to our newly drawn line, and we're going to add three eighths of an inch below it and that's our seam allowance because the hemlock only has a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance so we want to keep it consistent the whole way through. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay.
and there we have our two new pieces for the front of the colour block hack um, and we have to do the same with the back so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Here are the pieces that you will need for the hemlock colour block hack. Um, so we now have two pieces for the front, I've called it front A and front B, two pieces for the back, back A, back B. We have the neck binding uh, stays the same and the sleeve piece stays the same. I am actually going to make a long sleeve t-shirt just because I prefer a long sleeve to um, three quarter length sleeve and um, I drafted a long sleeve pattern piece in the cowl um, video so do check that out if you want to see how to do a longer sleeve but it's essentially just another three inches added on to the length that's all it is it's easy enough to do so now it's time to pin it to our fabric and cut out so I'm just working out the placement for my colour block front and back top pieces and um, that I'm, I'm going to be making out of this um, contrasting fabric to the stripes. This is the really amazing um, snake fabric that I have. Um, and because it's such a distinct pattern, um, I want to make sure I get the most out of the piece that I've bought. I've only bought... Um, half a centimeter, uh, half a meter um, because I knew I only needed a little bit. So what I'm actually doing is laying the, the fabric out completely flat and I've been working on where I want the placement of my pieces, bearing in mind that that's going to be on a fold. If you wanted to be really pedantic about it, you could retrace your pattern piece and make it flat. But what I'm, I'm not actually going to do that this time. I'm just working out where I'd like it to be quite like this here with the snake um, and this is the front so this is more important to me than what's on the back so I like that guy there I think this is my neckline and if I'm just sort of having a little look to see what's over here then I can see that I'm also going to be getting this in it and a bit of that snake his head might be in the seam allowance but I don't think that'll be very noticeable because it's a drop shoulder anyway. But as long as I've got that, I think, and I've got this, which is quite nice, this snake here will be right in the middle. So I think I'm happy with that. And then in terms of the back piece, as I said, I'm not so worried about what I can see, but I've got this one again. I quite like that too. Maybe do that and then I'd have these nice flowers. Um, just to make it a little bit different from that because he's going to be, this is the same as that. So maybe just to make it a little bit more different than having him on both the front and the back. He's going to be cut off if I leave it there. I think that's what I'm going to do. front and the bottom part of the front and we're just going to sew them together along here right sides together of course so putting it like that just going to pin it in place and do our usual one centimeter or three eighths of an inch seam allowance just on the overlocker or you can do this on a regular sewing machine if you don't have an overlocker or serger it doesn't matter Thank you. 
I've also done prepped my back piece as well with the base and this is the back piece so I'm going to sew them both now just to save time. Now we have our front piece like that and our back piece like that and we're going to basically start at the beginning as if you're just making a normal hemlock now. So all the um, rest of the instructions are going to be the same as they were for the short sleeved version that I made at the very beginning. So if you want more detailed talking through how to make it. Follow along with that one. I'll put a link down below for you. But otherwise, I'm just gonna speed it up and show you, um, without talking, how to make it the rest of the way from now on, okay? We're putting on our sleeves now so I thought I would actually come back in and chat quickly um, in case you were concerned. It is literally just the same, pretend that that is the notch mark of the original hemlock. Make sure you're doing right sides together of course and line up the edges of your sleeve piece with the, the line that marks the, dip, the colour blocking and then just pin in place and sew that together. And that's it guys.
done. Um, I'm so pleased with how this uh, t-shirt turned out. I love this fabric here. Um, the, I think it's called Cobra Corsage. There'll be a link in the description box below where I bought it from. Um, the stripy fabric was from my stash, unfortunately, guys, so I can't link to that. Um, but, I mean, it's just a stripy fabric. You can use whatever fabric you want to make the color block hack. Um, the uh, brilliant thing about this color blocking is that you only need a tiny bit of this top fabric so it's good for stash busting and it's also good for maybe splurging on some more expensive fabric this is a little bit pricey um, but I bought a half meter and um, more than enough actually to do the color blocking so that's a bonus you may have noticed that this t-shirt does have a curved hem and it's slightly longer so um, I did talk through how to draft your own curved hem um, to, a, to any t-shirt actually um, in the very first video if you didn't catch that so that's for the short sleeved hemlock hat the link is in the description box for that um, but this one because it's slightly longer I didn't cut the t-shirt out and then do the curve I actually um, did the curve while I was cutting it out and I added a couple of inches to the length of the t-shirt. Um, but if you're interested in how to do either the short sleeved hack, the cow neck hack or the ruffle sleeved hack for the hemlock then the links will be in the description box below and thanks so much for watching guys! Bye!